Good day. I'm Rob. I'm Rob. And this is Ask Rob and Rob. Yes, hello. Welcome to Ask Rob and Rob. This is episode nine of the podcast where every week we give you a chance to ask a property question and we will do our very best to answer it. Tim from Shrewsbury asked this week's question, but before we get into that, Rob, how do people ask their own? Well, you get on the old dung and bone, the blower, or you may just know it as the phone, and you call 013 808 0035, and that's 013 808 0035. It's normal rates, so just give us a call and record your question there. Or if you want to do it online, jump on the property hub dot net forward slash podcast and follow the instructions easy peasy so let's listen to tim's question now hi rob and rob thank you for all the great advice on the podcasts as a result of listening and reading rob's book i have been given the push to dip my toe in the water and i'm about to complete on my first investment property in a few weeks i will need to complete a tax return and have never had to do this before is this a simple process or should i look to paying someone to take care of this Thanks again for all the advice and keep up the good work. Well, Tim, first of all, congratulations on reading my book. I mean, congratulations on dipping your toe in the water and completing on your first investment property. Um, It's a really good question. And it's something that a lot of people find quite daunting. And there's no need to really. The first thing to keep in mind is that if you currently don't submit a tax return, because you've just got your source of income from employment, therefore, it's all taken care of with PAYE, you will need to register with HMRC as soon as you have another source of income, because they've got no way of magically knowing. And it's far better if you tell them than if they find out in the future. Really easy to do. You can just whiz over to the HMRC website and do it online. It'll only take a second and then you'll be sorted. Having done that, you'll then be asked to fill in a tax return. The mechanics of it are not at all difficult. It's just a few boxes to fill in. It's only a page. So if you keep a simple spreadsheet throughout the year, for one property, it really won't take you long to fill that in at all. But Rob, when making this decision about whether to do it yourself or not, we're always up for saving a bit of time, but it's about more than that. It is, because you may be very switched on to all the taxable allowances that you can claim for, but you might not know them all. As Rob said, other than saving time, that's the benefits of having an accountant do it for you. It's their knowledge, it's their know-how, it's the sneaky tricks. Remember, if you've got just one property or even two properties, an accountant may not be able to save you more than he costs you. So it's up to you whether you're confident doing it yourself and you're happy to spend the time doing it. However, Rob, there are fantastic resources out there where you can learn. Yes, and one of ours is completely free and it's a course that lets you in on a lot of these tricks. So a lot of it is really just about having the knowledge and the confidence to know what you're entitled to. There's nothing wrong with claiming these allowances. They're there for you, but you're not going to submit a tax return and then have HMRC say to you, oh, well, are you sure that you've claimed this and this? And you don't have to pay us this much. It's not going to happen. It's your responsibility to find out for yourself. We've made it easy for you by putting together this course and you'll be able to find a link over to that course in the show notes, which are at thepropertyhub.net slash property advice. That is something which I'd absolutely recommend doing, even if you do have an accountant, because if you're not using a specialist, they might not know all of this stuff and you can clue them in. But as your portfolio grows, having a specialist accountant will become an investment, not a cost. They will save you more than they cost you. But for the first property or two, unless you're really nervous about this or you're really stretched for time, it might be something that you feel comfortable doing on your own. So to find out more, on this episode and all the others we've done so far you can find them all in one place all the show notes it's the property hub.net forward slash property advice that's the property net.net forward slash property advice now there's something that we mention every week and that's because we want you to know about it because we think it's fantastic and the people who come along to it think it's fantastic as well because we ask them and we ask them anonymously so they'd be free to say if they didn't think so And that is the Property Hub Summit. That's a full day with us and a bunch of other investors putting you in the hot seat. You'll literally spend 20 minutes being asked about your property strategy, what it is you're doing now, where you want to get to, what's holding you back. And we'll troubleshoot that for you and send you away with a plan that will get you to where you want to be. And if you're not sure exactly where you want to be yet or what's possible, we'll help you out with that as well. 
importantly, we don't just kind of get you pumped up and send you off to do it. And then, you know, life gets in the way and it's not as easy as you thought and you end up giving up. The whole point is we give you a support structure as well. So it's not just one day. The one day is the start of having a peer group and a community of people who can help you constantly to get through everything that inevitably comes up to throw you off track and make sure that you still get to your destination. If that sounds good to you, really easy to book yourself a place. Just text the word summit followed by a space and your email address to 88802. That's summit, S-U-M-M-I-T, a space and your email address to 88802. We'll then send over some more information to you, which you can read through and then book your place if it sounds good. So need more of a property fix this week? Of course you do. We're back on Thursday. The juggernaut that is the property podcast is back. And of course, we'll be back with Ask Rob Rob with another question next week that we will endeavour to answer professionally. Until then, thank you so much for joining us and we'll be back with you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.